Have you ever wondered if we are alone in the universe? The good news is that NASA's TESS telescope has already recorded habitable worlds around nearby stars. It's incredibly exciting to see what discoveries the planet hunt has already made. If you want to know what amazing blossoms the search for extraterrestrial life has produced, be sure to stay tuned. Sit back, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our video all the way to the end. TOI 700D More than 5,300 exoplanets in over 3,900 systems. Even a quick glance at these current statistics shows the milestones this field of research has been able to achieve in the recent past. While astronomers let the technical gaze of their telescopes wander into the gigantic expanses of space, this exciting work is always accompanied by a great hope, namely that of one day coming across a cosmic twin of the Earth. One space telescope designed specifically for this purpose is NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS for short. Launched into space on April 18, 2018, TESS's mission is to detect as many exoplanets as possible orbiting those stars closest to our solar system. To do this, the 365-kilogram space telescope will use the time-honored transit method an indirect detection method in which a star's fluctuations in brightness reveal the existence of a passing planet. Among the most spectacular finds already recorded by TESS during its mission is the identification of the exoplanet TOI 700D. Added to the space charts in 2020 and located in the constellation Swordfish, the celestial body, which is 100 light years away from us, orbits a red dwarf. At a size that exceeds that of our Earth by 20%, this extrasolar world takes just 37 days to fully orbit its central star. What makes TOI 700D so exciting is its value on the so-called Earth Similarity Index. As the official name suggests, this scale indicates how closely other celestial bodies resemble our Earth. Whereas our blue home planet embodies the cosmic ultimate with a value of 1, that of TOI 700D is quantified as 0.93. For comparison, Mars receives a rating of 0.697 on the ESI. The extent to which the exoplanet is ultimately habitable is to be shown by future investigations. What is certain is that the celestial body is located within the habitable zone of its home system, which means that it could harbor water in a permanently liquid form. T-Garden B. Despite its remarkable value, however, TOI 700D must settle for second place on the list of potentially habitable exoplanets. T-Garden B, a celestial body located about 12.5 light years from the solar system and orbiting T-Garden's eponymous star, takes the top spot with a 0.95 rating. The fact that the planetary companion is classified as potentially habitable is due not only to its location within the habitable zone, but also to the fact that the red dwarf it orbits is considered comparatively quiet due to its great age of more than 8 billion years. Kepler 1649c Identified in 2020 by observations with the Kepler Space Telescope, the radius of Kepler 1649c exceeds that of our Earth by a mere 1.06 times. And although final data are not yet available in this regard, experts believe that the two planets are also likely to be similar in terms of their climates. However, the question of the exoplanet's atmospheric composition still remains unanswered. While this cosmic world ranks at an ESI value of 0.92, it's considered the most Earth-like planet found by the Kepler telescope during its mission. TRAPPIST-1D TRAPPIST-1D is not only one of the red-hot candidates when it comes to the question of potentially habitable worlds, but also one of the smallest exoplanets added to the star charts so far. With a radius of 0.79 Earth radii and a mass of 0.4 Earth masses, the celestial body exhibits bound rotation. 
This means that it always turns one and the same side towards its central star, the dwarf star TRAPPIST-1. In spite of this, it's possible that between the cold night and the warm day side, a zone exists, which can pave the way for the development of life. However, the planet may have already lost most of its original oceans as part of the galloping greenhouse effect. The bottom line is that TRAPPIST-1D, with an ESI value of 0.91, ranks fourth on the list of the most Earth-like celestial bodies. LP-890-9C The next exoplanet, located about 100 light-years from us and gravitationally bound to a comparatively small cold star, is a super-Earth. Contrary to the first assumption, however, this term refers only to the size of rocky planets, without making any statements about their habitability. And yet, the chances that LP-890-9C may harbor life are anything but bad. With a radius of 8,500 kilometers and an ESI value of 0.89, it orbits so tightly around its parent star that it lies within the habitable zone despite the small amount of radiation. In the future, the James Webb Telescope will help reveal the atmospheric nature of this celestial body. Proxima Centauri b As is well known, Proxima Centauri embodies that star which is closest to the Sun. Thus, there is a distance of just 4.247 light-years between our host star and the dazzlingly bright celestial body in the constellation Centaur. For several years, we have also known that our stellar neighbor is orbited by at least three planets. The exoplanet Proxima Centauri b is of particular interest to scientists. Since it also orbits, within the potentially habitable zone, water could exist on it in a permanently liquid form. However, this cosmic planet discovery, recorded in August 2016 using the radial velocity method, is also of exceptional importance for another reason. Not only is Proxima Centauri b ideally suited for further observations due to its relative proximity to Earth, no, it also orbits a representative of the most abundant stellar type in our home galaxy. Consequently, up to 80% of the Milky Way stars should also be red dwarfs. K2-72e Of the four planets detected by the Kepler Space Telescope in the realms of the red dwarf K2-72, K2-72e is the outermost representative. In detail, this extrasolar world was discovered in 2016 at a distance of nearly 228 light years. However, just like TRAPPIST 1D, this planet also exhibits a bound rotation. However, the principle applies here as well. Between the two extreme zones, there could be a narrow strip that allows the presence of liquid water. If K2 72E can call a dense atmosphere its own, further areas of the surface could be habitable. Consequently, the natural protective envelope would cause the heat absorbed by the day side to be transferred to the opposite side of the planet as well. On the ESI, the celestial body is rated 0.87, securing seventh place on the ring list. JG 1002b with an intrinsic mass that exceeds that of our terrestrial home by 1.08 times, GJ1002b also advances to super-Earth status. To describe a complete orbit around its host star of spectral class M, the exoplanet estimates only 10.3 days. This short orbital period is due to the small distance between the two celestial bodies, which amounts to just 0.046 astronomical units. A brief reminder, the length measure of the astronomical unit corresponds to the approximate average distance between Sun and Earth, thus approximately 150 million kilometers. The distance between us and GJ1002b is in turn estimated to be 16 light years. What characteristics the planet has apart from this remains to be found out in the future. It was only added to the star charts last year. GJ 1061C and D. 
The information situation about the two exoplanets GJ 1061c and D also appears somewhat vague at present. For example, official sources state that the celestial bodies were discovered in 2019 based on data collected by HARPS. This, in turn, involves a special spectrograph located at the La Silla Observatory in Chile. Furthermore, we know that these extrasolar worlds are bound to a red dwarf in the constellation Pendulum Clock, which is located about 12 light years from Earth. And even if the column's radius, orbital inclination, and atmospheric composition currently remain empty, the exoplanets with their location within the habitable zone have already made it into the list of potentially habitable worlds. The ESI value in both cases is 0 0.86. Ross 128b We have already told you that Proxima Centauri b is the closest known exoplanet to Earth. The second place in this subcategory is again occupied by Ross 128b. It lies about 11 light years away from us. Just like GJ 1061 C and D, this rocky planet could be found with the help of the HARP spectrograph. In terms of its orbit, the celestial body appears to be just inside the inner edge of the habitable zone. However, since it receives about 38% more starlight than Earth, we could find liquid water here as well. As equilibrium temperature, the experts determined a value of at least 6.85 degrees Celsius. However, even in the case of this exoplanet, some fundamental questions still need to be clarified. These include, in addition to the question of the nature of the atmosphere, whether Ross 128 actually has a bound rotation. And now we're curious about your opinion. Which of the presented exoplanets fascinated you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss one of our videos again. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.